Whew. Hey guys, how's it going? Nazar here, you're watching Nostalgic, and these are my pickups from the the Shelf Flippers number 15. So if you want to see both me and Andre's pickups, go to the first 117 Andre's YouTube channel, where both of us sat down and showed off everything we got. This one is just me, my pickups, and what I got, and I'm gonna uh, unbox some of them, take out some of the Hot Wheels, show you, you know, more in detail what I got. So... If you're into that, then I'm going to put this on the tripod, point you in the direction of my table, <laughs> and uh, we'll see what's going on and what I picked up. So this is The Shell Flippers, which is a show on this channel. The Shell Flippers, just check out that view list down below, and you'll find it. This is number 15, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. We sure as hell did. So yeah, I just can't wait. I really want to put these up on my display case and stuff like that, so uh, yeah. <laughs> enjoy. Let's do this. Okay, guys, <clears throat> let's uh, let's start with the action figures, and we'll move on to the Hot Wheels in the end. I'll set up the turntable and all that. So this was fun. Um, I'm collecting all of the Mandalorian figures, at least of the good guys, and um, this was uh, Bo-Katan Kryze, or Krizzy, I forget how to pronounce it properly. But um, this was cool. We uh, stumbled on this at a Walmart. Pick uh, Andre picked up a bunch of other characters. I just wanted her. And very happy to have her. So yeah, super awesome find. Uh, next, these guys. The Back to the Future Toonie freaking figures. Was very happy to find these. These are finally on sale for $5 a piece. Um, my friend Andre found these and he pointed them out. And uh, I just kind of gave up because I kept waiting for the sale. Waiting, waiting, and it was never going down. Like, it went down like a dollar or two. They used to be $15 each. So, this time, they were all $5 each. We used the Walmart app and uh, found that out. So, very excited to have these sealed. I already have them out of box in my Back to the Future collection. And uh, this is going to be a very awesome addition. Uh, just going to keep these bad boys sealed. So, yeah. Super happy about this. $5 is basically like three for one, you know? So yeah, super excited. Back to the Future is one of those things I collect uh, heavily for. Speaking of which, check this out. This was the the Time Machine DeLorean on clearance for 15 bucks. I think these things originally, uh, when they came out, they were like $30, $30, I think, which is ridiculous for this price. It's a small freaking car. This is not like big at all. <laughs> Here's for comparison, there's a Hot Wheels car. It's like just four times bigger than a Hot Wheels car. Like it's not that big. So for $15, um, I definitely said yes to this. So that's great. Really love that. It's a remote control car. Come on. So, <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Let's see. Next. We also went to uh, Hobby Lobby. Check this bad boy out. Shelby Avenue. <laughs> This needs to move. There we go. Shelby Avenue. I have another YouTube channel, which is mainly just for Hot Wheels and customizing and just collecting in general. That one's called Shelby Street Diecast. So when I saw this at Hobby Lobby, I was like, oh, that's awesome. I, I was almost tempted to change the name of my channel to Shelby Avenue Diecast, but I was like, no, that doesn't roll off the tongue just as good as Shelby Street Diecast. So... This is just cool, gonna hang this up somewhere on my wall and enjoy it. So yeah, all right. <sighs> ah, okay, let's keep it at, in the Hobby Lobby. Also picked up these paint markers. These are for customizing. I heard some good things about it. They were 15 freaking bucks, but um, from what I understand, these are really good and I really need the yellow, the orange, the red, white, like it's all the right colors. So the primaries. <laughs> Also picked up these tubes to uh, for wheel swapping. So these are basically going to be like axles, going to cut them to size and uh, put in wheels inside of them so that they fit each car to the width of each car. So I've been looking for this. Um, okay. Oh yeah, shout out to uh, Honest Diecast. I uh, sent him a message asking him like what diameter I needed and he helped me out right away. So Derek, thank you, bro. All right, next. Okay, you know what? Speaking of customs, picked these two Volkswagens up. 
um, for for their wheels because um, they have nice wheels and to get wheels online to get a set of four it would be like ten dollars so it's cheaper to just get another premium car with decent wheels and just use those so picked up two of these uh, Volkswagen IDR so I'm gonna use these also from the British Horsepower series, the Lotus. These rims are amazing, so I'm gonna definitely use these on something else. So those are for customs. Okay, everything else is for my collection. There's a couple more uh, basic cars that I'm gonna use for customs, but uh, you know, that's different. Okay guys, let's move on to the Hot Wheels, uh, other than what I just showed you. But uh, since I have the rotisserie out, Let's uh, let's show you this bad boy that I just literally showed you. Let's take a little little sidetrack there. So there we go. There's the really really sweet car. Uh, I'm actually almost debating if I want to hold on to <laughs> one of them because I have two here. It's a pretty sweet freaking race car. <sighs> Sorry, I'm doing this while recording. Should have prepared better. <laughs> there we go. So yeah. Um, yeah, the Volkswagen IDR. Uh, really, really like these wheels. Um, like I said, this is why I bought this car. If we can focus, please. Oh my god. Come on, man. There we go. So yeah. These are really nice, so um, I'm not too big on this particular race car, so it's not really that big of a deal for me. So, you know, um, it was a decent sacrifice. Uh, okay, so we got that one, put that there, and of course, the, the Lotus, really, really beautiful car. This is totally uh, a car that I've always wanted and admired since I was a kid, uh, the S1 Esprit. So let's get this out. This car is beautiful. You can love that. But if you take a look at those wheels, again, those are sweet. I just wish there were um, cheaper ways of getting wheels because to be honest with you, $10 for a set or <laughs> like that's that's a little much, man. Like if you look at this car, like I paid five bucks for this and I got real nice wheels and I can literally buy one more and I'll have a car and wheels for another custom. So I'm not sure why they're uh, so pricey. So but anyway, yeah, beautiful car. Um, I'm still kind of debating if I want to use that one for custom, but um we'll see we'll see okay next that's just the second one there I'm opening them opening them all up just because I don't need to uh, keep these things and sealed they're for projects and for art all right next <laughs> the character car freaking Cheshire cat uh, I'm not huge into these things, the character cars. Um, I don't know if you guys, if you watch my channel, if you're new, here I'll show you this character card that I customized. Very proud of it, actually. Uh, come on. This is my, my Skeletor custom. Did a wheel swap on this thing and uh, did a whole motor. Um, sprayed painted that black and did a custom um, rub and buff with bronze so very happy with how this turned out really cool little custom of mine so uh, but I am not huge on character cars but Cheshire Cat is awesome and this car is freaking adorable man I really dig this so this is definitely a keeper so I've been seeing it at Target like quite often for the past few months i just never pulled the trigger on it just because like you know i really like realistic cars and race cars <sighs> so when i saw this i was kind of like eh, you know 
do I really need that? So today my answer to myself was yes, I do. <laughs> so there it is. There's the beautiful freaking Cheshire Cat car. I think it's really nice. Um, considering that, you know, I'm not a huge... Like I just said. So I'm not going to keep saying the same thing over and over. <laughs> so, but yeah, what do you guys think? Neat, right? So, alright. Ah, alright, keep that. That is definitely going in the collection and not for any kind of customs. So, speaking of the Skeletor uh, car, check this thing out, guys. This is the Battle Cat freaking monster truck. Hot Wheels monster trucks. Masters of the Universe, Battle Cat. So I have the full set of the character cars of Masters of the Universe. And uh, when we came across this at uh, Target or Walmart, I forget. Um, I was like, I have to have this for the, for the set. Because this kind of makes sense to have this with that other set. So I'm really not a monster truck guy. I like them in one-to-one -one scale, but I do not collect... Uh, monster trucks that's just the whole other black hole i don't want to go into <laughs> that is uh you know to say that i i love these i really love the way they look i think they're really cool it's just i can't i can't go down that route <laughs> so all right let's continue ah <sighs> this was another hobby lobby this is the black bandit collection yes it was eight dollars not too bad. So 2016 Ford Shelby GT350. All black. This is awesome, guys. Let me take this out of the box and show it to you. But uh, yeah, I, I really had to have this car. <laughs> cool. Appropriate background, right? <laughs> okay, guys. So that packaging, I really don't care much about. Don't really not at all. <laughs> so look at this. I'm glad I have tons of lighting here because this car is freaking beautiful. I hope it's focusing right for you guys. <sighs> so, ah, come on. There we go. It's hard to focus when it's turning because it gets closer and further. But yeah, amazing car. This is by Greenlight. Um, yeah. The Black Bandit Collection. Diecast metal chassis. It's also limited edition. Definitely 164 scale. I think they uh, go for that true 164. So <clears throat> let me compare this to. Why is it having so much trouble with the focus? There we go. A little further. So if you guys have heard, let me get this out. This bad boy's out. This is the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. There is a super treasure hunt of this. This is just the main line, of course. It's yellow. The super treasure hunt of this car is like a... What do you call it? A Spectre Flame. So it's yellow, but it's like see-through, so you can see the metal on the inside. This one I'm going to open up for you. <clears throat> for comparison. I know they're different years, but you know, whatever. You got the super bright and you have the super dark. So these are really beautiful. I love Mustangs, guys. That's my favorite car. Since I was a teenager, yeah, just love all of them. Fox bodies, whatever bodies, man, they're all great. Mustangs for life, especially Shelby's. I used to have a Shelby Lancer. I had two Dodge Shelby Dodge Lancers. I used to be a street racer. Uh, don't do that. It's very dangerous. <laughs> That's kind of why I stopped. I saw a few accidents happen in front of my eyes. And uh, I did not want to see them happen again. Or be responsible for anything like that. So, beautiful, beautiful cars. Um, so, yeah. There's the main line. I really... My, my main holy grail right now is to find this in a super treasure hunt. I love this car. I love this casting. It's freaking amazing. Just love it. All right, and this one, just great. I don't really go too much for M2s or green lights. I'm all about the Hot Wheels premiums, but uh, this one definitely um, changed my mind. 
So I'm going to put this one in with the rest of my uh, cars in my display. So yeah, great stuff, man. All right, what's next? Next we have, um, oh yeah, I picked this up actually not during the, um, not during our uh, shelf flipping adventure, but a day before. But I figured I'd share this with you because I think it's really cool. This is the super fast Matchbox, the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX. It's uh, the Japanese nostalgic car. Really, really beautiful car. Got the paint everywhere. Not the back for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, pretty much kind of like, uh, in a way, the Matchbox Collector series, which are a lot like, you know, why am I having trouble with words? <laughs> They're a lot like the premiums for Hot Wheels. So, all right, let's move on. So the next car, these are some main lines. Really love the colors on the Mystery Machine. I do have this one in a premium version, which looks amazing. Uh, this one I got, I got two of these for customizing. So we're gonna strip the paint off of it and do some powder coating and then let our imaginations run wild. Uh, speaking of customs, this one was also picked up for its wheels. I like these wheels a lot, so uh, I am doing some, you know, like customs kind of like, let's say the bone shaker where the wheels, the back wheels are bigger than the front wheels. So that's, those are the perfect wheels for that. So, let me open this. I mean, this is actually kind of a cool car in of itself. I love the how they are with the paint. I wonder if my hot fingers will change anything. Eh, I don't know if it's cold or hot. No idea. It does need water to do it. Oh yeah, here we go. My thumb is making a... So it goes from green to yellow. That's pretty cool. I used to love these as a kid with the color changing. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. Oh shit, what was this called again? Oh. oh no! Okay, this one's called the Nitro Door Slammer. Okay. It is what it is. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll definitely use the wheels off of this. Maybe do something with the, the engine there. That's kind of neat. So we'll see. Pretty neat. All right, next, my buddy Andre picked this up for me. This is uh, Ryu Asada's, the late, great Ryu Asada's uh, design of the Dodge van. This is the drift van that has the go-kart up in there. And this one's also the Moon Eyes version. So this is like a triple whammy. Great designer. Also a drift van, which is kind of weird. And also Ryu Asada's, um, you know, also Moon Eyes, Ryu Asada. Oh man, I, you know what I'm saying. <sighs> Rest in peace, man. So yeah, I have this, uh, the green version of this somewhere. So, um, the, I guess the first release. So yeah, this is cool. Not opening that. Keeping some of Rio Asada's stuff. <clears throat> All right, pick these up. These are also going to be, one's going to go in my uh, collection. I'll probably put some real riders on this because I really like this freaking demon. Uh, it's the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT demon. So, pretty cool. There's also a super treasure hunt of this, which is also that uh, translucent Spectra Flame paint. Alright. I was also lucky enough to get a total of three of these, so Andre found me two and hooked me up with them, and I found one by myself. So, going to customize one of these to kind of attempt, <laughs> attempt to make a super treasure hunt clone or whatever but uh, applying uh, powder coating, not paint. So that's going to be an interesting experiment. All right, uh, two more of these babies. Really love these, the Truenos. Um, you guys know the Initial D anime slash live movie slash manga. Uh, this is the car from that. I already have the Zamac version. I also have the regular, um, you know, the Falcon blue colors version. And now this one. So that's really cool. Got two of those. And this bad boy. So 
I love this casting, the 67 Camaro, and I love the colors of this. I love the de uh, the deco of it. I found one, uh, I think a week or two ago, but when I opened it, the uh, livery or the deco uh, paint applications were really bad, like they were scraping off. So I had to, I had to find another one, and I did. We actually came across a couple of these, so I had my choice. So as you can see, this one is good. Love this car. I know it doesn't have like the lines for the doors, but it's okay. Some people hide that in a custom. Yeah, love this thing. I love this color, guys. This is just, I don't know why. I think this is great. I love the brown. I love the like faded yellows. It's great. Right up Nas's alley. <laughs> So yeah, Ugh, if we can focus on Nazareth Alley, that sounds wrong. All right, so there it is. Love that Camaro. Okay, guys, uh, that is it for my pickups. Um, we did find a bunch of other things, so definitely go to Andre's channel. The first one that we've seen, he got a ton more, uh, more than me. So uh, you might enjoy uh, watching that one. I'm in that video as well, so you'll get to see the Hot Wheels he picked up. And uh, other things I picked up and me drinking beer, <laughs> all sorts of things. So anyway, so yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been, uh, my name is Nas. This has been Nostalgic, I guess, pickups and uh, kind of reviews. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. I can't wait to uh, utilize my art supplies to uh, further my customs. These are some of my customs here. I just did a wheel swap and painted the base black on this uh, BMW 2002. I think these wheels look great on it. <laughs> and painting the, the base black also. Had to do a bit of sanding down there. But yeah, looks cool, right? I love, I love how this turned out. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Also, uh, still working on my dots in here. That looks great. This was a powder coat, not paint videos up on my channel if you want to watch um, how this was done. Wheel swap, all sorts of things. So, ew, a bunch of hair on that sticker. All right, so yeah, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to uh, start showing off my customs to you, but I really am proud of them. This is my black on black, totally blacked out freaking GT, uh, GT3 Porsche. Uh, this is also a powder coat, not paint. I really like the fact that they're not paint but powder coat. Powder coat. It's a lot harder to do and very pricey uh, process. So I'm lucky to know Andre who works at a place that does stuff like that. So we can collaborate on some really cool projects. Oh yeah, and see how this, uh, how that's too far. That's why I got those tubes so that I can cut these and um, you know put them in the tube so that they don't slide out like that. So it doesn't look silly like that. So it looks nice like that. So that's why. So yeah, <laughs> really love how this turned out. It, it all turned out great. So a lot more customs coming your way, guys. So definitely keep an eye out uh, on my channel. This is another Ferrari we did. Did a little wheel swap of basic wheels with gold rims and uh, a black powder coat. <sighs> okay, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for hanging out and looking at my haul. And again, go check out the first 117 if you want to watch more of what we, what we picked up during the shelf flippers. And if you want to watch us in action as we find stuff under shelves, hidden toys, hidden Hot Wheels, and actually do our toy hunting and peg hunting, check out the shelf flippers on this channel in my playlist below. So... Other than that, that's it for me. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, do all those things if you don't mind. And if you like it, definitely subscribe. <laughs> so yeah. Alright guys, my name is Nas. I'll see you all in the next video. Live long and prosper. Peace.